I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday September the 25th where the cattle on feed report that came out on Friday with the bearish uh, placement figures took a bite out of the market but not horrible uh, your futures were not down the limit or anything and your, your cash markets didn't fall out of bed but it was a jolt and we kind of knew that it was but we've seen a lot worse Mondays when everything looked uh, to be bullish too but look at the board on Monday October live cattle futures down 90 cents to end the day at 112.17 December which actually closed higher for the week last week kind of evened up as it was down a dollar 45 on Monday to end the day at 117 even which really doesn't sound too awful bad October feeder cattle down $1.77 to end Monday at $156.30 and September was down a half a dollar at $156.45. The weighted average on last week's uh, fat cattle trade negotiated cash basis in your five area feeding region on 110,100 head which is a good movement and just about what we need to keep things cleaned up each week. Uh, as far as negotiated sales go so that uh, we don't get behind and we keep uh, can move in this market ahead and we've kind of got our supply problems behind us now we've talked all spring all summer about the wall of cattle where we're well uh, that wall is is way in our back our rear view mirror now we've gotten through a lot of that there's some spots in the five areas that still have some heavy cattle to work through some of the last of the calf feds and and things like that but uh, for the most part if you talk to everybody they've they've gotten through those bigger numbers the heavier cattle and now we're going to be pretty current and and can uh, get ready to move up with our seasonal uptick in the market we've got all of our our uh, out front uh, CME contracts higher and uh, we look like we're going to be heading into uh, deep into the 120s and and with a goal maybe of $130 before the end of the year sometime but you look at last week's trade, you know we were a little bit disappointed because it was hard to hold a steady market the way things went with the board just a, a little bit weaker every day progressively all the way up through Thursday and then a little profit taken on Friday which didn't help trade out at all. But uh, your weighted averages when the smoke cleared weren't too bad and uh, actually your dressed weighted averages were higher as we just had more cattle trading at the higher figure and uh, your live steers had a weighted average price in the five area feeding region of 110.61 with most all of them trading at 111 and a few at 111.50 it kind of kept some of those off cattle from pulling us down too far and that that 110.61 was only a nickel lower than uh, the weighted average from the previous week now your dress steer weighted average ended up at 174.65 which was actually 60 cents higher because if you remember last week almost everything everything traded at 175 where the previous week you had a they, they worked through the market even though it was three dollars higher uh, live basis and as much as five dollars higher that previous week on our dress basis we worked through the week uh, a little bit here and a little bit there and you always had more uh, of the off cattle sucking that weighted average down a little bit so really not too bad uh, nationwide 125,300 head sold which is good and only 16 percent of those for the 15 to 30 day delivery so not really trying to set the market up for a fall in that way but notably a lot of basis trades so guys selling cattle for future delivery and then basing them off the board uh, even or a dollar or two with this this side or the other side of the board and and uh, more than we normally see if you look at november deliveries of fat cattle 15,400 head sold uh even or option the december contract on the futures uh december deliveries there was 7,500 so this is stuff that was just sold last week 7,500 head a buck under December January 8,300 head for delivery in January that was plus a dollar to a dollar and a half the February board February deliveries 11,700 head a buck over the February board even out into March 9,400 head out of one to one and a half over April and April just in last week's sales 
for April delivery, 15,500 head, one to one and a half over the April board. So uh, that that's kind of the way that they set things up, guys. They, they get a lot of those cattle being delivered. Uh, that gives them leverage on your, on your cash trade, especially knowing that the market's going to be going uh, in an upward uh, mobility and, and it kind of limits uh, the amount of, uh, of market position that the packers have to give up. But if you look at your, uh, your feeder cattle market, your real-time index, late on Monday was sitting at 154.58. That was down 47 cents from uh, the end of last week or, or the end of over the weekend's trades. Uh, you look on some big Monday sales, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma National Stockyards, 5,700 head, kind of a lighter run there, but man, was it wet late last week and around, uh, especially south of there and east of there, but uh, probably did uh, hamper things a little bit as far as getting cattle in there, but after after the bearish cattle on feed report and all that, everything, feeder steers were unevenly steady. Feeder heifers steady to two bucks higher, and the calves were steady to three bucks higher with most of the gains on there seen on the heifers too, but that, that's pretty good. Uh, Joplin didn't fare quite so well compared to last week. 5,000 head there, their yearling feeders were steady to four bucks lower, and calves were three to five dollars lower. You look at some individual quotes on Monday. National Livestock Commission at the Oklahoma City Stockyards there, had 90 head, if you look on the Cattle Market Central here is an automatic feed, 90 head of 671 pound steers at 165 and a quarter. And then a buddy of mine sent me from another commission firm there at Oklahoma City, 93 head of 457 pound good black black baldy steers bring $2 even. Uh, that, that's kind of a threshold that they crossed over there. So that's a, that's a, a good calf market there and a big uh, place where they set the market in Oklahoma City. Look at another uh, sale up uh, north and west there. Faith, South Dakota had 69 head of steers, weighed 829 pounds at $161. And that's your feeder flash for Tuesday.